I get it. I get it. It's just a trackpad and just a keyboard. But is it? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before, or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So, I know, I know. Why am I making an entire dedicated video to unboxing the new Magic Trackpad and Magic Keyboard? It's actually still a question I'm trying to figure out myself, but, um. Here we are. Let's unbox the new silver and black Magic Trackpad and the new silver and black Magic Keyboard. Quick look at the box, you can see Magic Trackpad with that beautiful black front of the trackpad and silver sides, hence silver and black. Little Apple logo on the right side, little Apple logo on the left side. Nothing on top, nothing on bottom. Some more information on back, but we have a little arrow here to get the party started. So we shall. Pull that up. The moment I've been waiting for. So excited over a trackpad, who would have thunk? <sighs> there it is! Leave it to Apple to get me this excited <laughs> for a trackpad, but here we are. It's here. I'm excited. Obviously can't contain it. We will take it out quickly. Ooh! Oh my goodness, and even the back is black. Even through the cellophane, it looks pretty. But hold on, we'll see what else comes in the box. Also in the box, we have this little packet of information, which we could open on up right here. First thing first, this is a, a rather thick packet of information talking about the Magic Trackpad. I already know about that, but packet of information in case you didn't know how to use it. You also have some regulatory compliance information, that's okay, and your warranty summary, so some reading you could do if you want. But also in the Magic Trackpad box is this ever so beautiful USB-C to lightning cable with this braided cable rather than it just being a plastic coated cable. Oh my goodness. That alone kind of makes me that much more excited about this purchase. But if we open this up, this is going to be a three foot USB-C to lightning cable. You're gonna use this to actually charge up the trackpad when you need to, but I'll probably be using it for a lot more than just that. And that's all that comes in the box. So let's take a closer look at the trackpad itself. We shall uncellophane it. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, it, I Tongue twisted, can't even make words. It's honestly prettier than I thought it was going to be. Wow, I thought the silver was gonna be a little bit more pronounced, but it's actually very matte blackish with just the silver sides. I kinda like this more than the full space gray version, so huh, pretty happy about it. It is your Apple Magic Trackpad, so you do have an on and off button on the back, as well as a lightning port, and then of course, you do also have the ability to actually adjust the force touch settings and how it actually responds to your clickiness, if it's loud, if it's soft, a lot of custom ability, but more than anything else, what I love about the Apple Magic Trackpad, I've used it for years, even though it hasn't been this color, has been the ability to do gestures like I was used to using when I used to use a MacBook Pro, believe it or not, for all my video editing, so now I have a matte black version of the trackpad I already know and love. I'm trying to get my aesthetic down this year. Just have a nice, aesthetically pleasing, on-brand editing station. And this is one step closer. But one last look at it. Oh my goodness, look at the way it glistens in the light. This is a nice little added toucher. I know you're never gonna see the bottom of the trackpad itself, but it's just kind of nice how we have a black top and bottom and then silver sides. It is what it is, but it's it's prettier than I even thought it was going to be. I'm gonna start using that right away. And for the other co-star of the show, this bad boy right here, whoo! It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The new silver and black Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, as well as the Numera keypad over here. Full disclosure, I almost didn't get this because I have no need for the Numera keypad, but they don't at the time of this video have a non-Numeric keypad version of the silver and black Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, so had no choice. So let's unbox it. <clears throat> Quick look at the box, Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. This is exactly what the keyboard looks like. 
at an angle, of course. We have an Apple logo on the right side, an Apple logo on the left side, nothing on top, nothing on bottom. And then you do get some more information on the back. Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and Numeric Keypad, as well as what it looks like right there. Oh, there's a little button to show you where the Touch ID button is, but same idea here. We got a little arrow here to get things started. So, um... Here we go. So big I ran out of room. My goodness, looks good already. That same matte black, oh, okay. Wait, 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 let's see what else comes in the box. We have yet another packet of information here. Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and Numeric Keypad. We'll open this up. This is a quick little, quick start guide to tell you how to actually charge up your Magic Keyboard and how to use it, in case you didn't know how. We also do have regulatory compliance information, so you could read that if you wish. And then last but not least, your warranty summary. So again, some light reading for you to do if you want. Also in the box, we have yet another black USB-C to lightning cable. Again, braided here, so no plastic. Just feels that much more premium, and I'm super excited to actually have two of these now because you still need cords from time to time, especially at your workstation. So I'm excited to have another three foot USB-C to lightning black cable right here. Mm-hmm, put it to the side, take a closer look at this bad boy right here. My goodness, you gotta be careful. You walk around with this, it could be a weapon. We shall flip it over and uncellophane it. There's the matte black back. Taking a breath. We shall turn it over. Silver and black magic keyboard with touch ID and numeric keypad, yes. It's kind of tripping me up. It looks like almost like someone yanked this out of a MacBook and put it here, but no, it is the magic keyboard. It is your typical Apple magic keyboard typing experience, but the touch ID button right here. I've been a huge fan of touch ID and the magic keyboard, and this is from my 24 inch iMac. This is something I use probably dozens of times per day. So needless to say, Touch ID in the Magic Keyboard, I think is just genius. And now we get it here in a silver and black version of it. Now I'm wondering if this is gonna take a little getting used to with this numeric keypad section over here. I'm wondering if, see the thing is, with the 24 inch version of the Magic Keyboard, the Touch ID is in the top right. So there's no thinking process. It's always in the same spot. You know, I could do that like probably a dozen times in a row and hit it each time without even looking. Pretty close. Whereas on this version with the numeric keypad, it is probably gonna take a little getting used to just trying to find that muscle memory point where I actually authenticate something, but probably won't be that bad. I'm just nitpicking here. So for size comparison with the numeric keypad and without, that is what you're looking at right there. So you can see it's quite literally the exact same thing, just whoop, with an extra section added on. I don't know, maybe I'll just remap these keys over here to be like hot keys for something. But for right now, I. <laughs> Literally just got this for the silver and black color. I have no desire nor need to use the actual numeric keypad, but it's there, I'll use it for something. Actually, I did lie a slight difference here. It is pretty much the same size, but I just realized the actual up, down, left, and right arrows have dedicated arrows rather than a split up and down arrow here on the smaller non-numeric keypad version of the Magic Keypad. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe I'll actually end up liking the numeric keypad part of the Magic Keyboard. Wouldn't be surprised. It's just something to be so excited about. Look at that combination right here. Oh my goodness. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this fun little video. Per usual, if you wanna check out the Silver and Black Magic Keyboard as well as the Silver and Black Magic Trackpad, you could do so by heading to my affiliate links, bmac.link slash SB keyboard, and then bmac.link slash SB trackpad. bmac.link slash SB keyboard or bmac.link slash SB trackpad, both of which will be clickable links in the video description box below. So be sure to check those out if you want to. And now it's time for me to do two things. One, actually pair this up with my iMac, and two, start to get all the other aesthetics cohesive as well. So I'm gonna go do that, but I will see you in my next video. Crazy, crazy, I know. All this for just a color, but you know what? There's people out there getting polishing cloths for like $20, so to each their own. Although the only reason why I haven't gotten that polishing cloth yet is because it's not in matte black. Make a matte black version of that and I'd probably get it. Yeah.